Hey everyone, it's Pamela Pick with Piccadilly Stampin'. I have a super cute project I want to show you. I get the I found these carrots at the Dollar Tree in town. They were like ten for a dollar, and I thought, oh my gosh, I can make something cute out of that. And I came up with this cute little design that I want to share with you today. So, let's get going. I am going to start off with the things that you'll need. And you're not going to need much. That's what I love about this. So, you're going to need a piece of the Fresh Florals paper. And um, this is the Lemon Lime Twist one. It's the two-sided DSP. I chose to use this leafy side. Kind of gardeny with the carrot. And um, this is cut at two by three. And then you're going to need a piece of garden green and this is cut at two by six and five eighths so let's get started I want to start off by scoring and I'm going to give you a tip on this so we're going to score our garden green piece at a half inch like so and then at three and a half but one of the things that I want to show you is what I did since I'm making a few of these I actually took my paper cut it to skies scored them all at once and then cut my paper it's just much easier that way so but I'm gonna get these out of the way and we'll get going with our project now I'm gonna have to do a little bit of big shots work so I'm gonna pull my big shots in here and it is, <clears throat> let's see if I can get that on camera, right, um, you know what, actually, I did that wrong, let me, we're going to glue, we're going to fold these down on the score lines, and we're going to glue our DSP first onto that 2 by 3 area. Now I'm going to bring my big shots in and I have my cutting pad on with my magnetic platform and I'm going to be using the layering ovals and I'm going to be using this third, maybe it's the second, no it's this third isn't it, let's see, no that's too big, it's the second, the second one here in this grouping and I have no idea what that size is, but it's going to fit perfectly on my project. So, and what I like with the magnetic plate is it holds it down so I can get that lined up where I want it. And then I'm going to put the top plate on and just run it through. Okay. So then you're going to have it's going to look like that. It's going to have a little face on it, a little opening. And I'll move this out of the way so then what I'm going to do is take some tear and tape now on the back of my carrot. Got to find the, the top of this. There we go. And I'm just going to put this on the back of my carrot because this is what's going to hold it down really well on that DSP or cardstock here in the back. And it takes a minute. I'm just going to kind of press my thumb to it to get that to stick and adhere. I tried glue. I tried glue dots and the best that I found was actually the tear and tape. Okay, come on, here we go. Got to get that little edge. Now, I'm going to, you can do the tear and tape here too. 
I'm going to just put a little bit of our green glue and glue this down so that the edges match. So it gives kind of a little bowed effect. And then stick my carrot perfectly on the inside. And then what I did is the <clears throat> press here on the back where that tear and tape was. I didn't give this. That stuff is sticky. There we go, like so. Kind of got to hold that a minute. There we go. And press that down. Okay. Then I used our one eighth gold ribbon and I just tied a little bow here to put on the outside and I'm going to show you something so <clears throat> a couple ways you can tie a bow you can do <clears throat> just the regular bow that you were taught to tie your shoe or you can do one where you make a little loop here and a little loop here and you take the two of them and make a granny knot and so today I'm going to show you how to do this one what I like about this one is that the the bow itself comes out let me flip that over just a perfect where the knot is on each side so you can use either side, and I think that's really cute. I'm going to trim the tail. And this tail wants to curve that away, like so. And all I'm going to use is a glue dot to attach it. So you can decide which way you want it. And attach it right up at the top. So that's it. Look at these things. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Who wouldn't want to get a little bitty chocolate treat like that? Isn't that adorable? <clears throat> well, thanks everyone for joining me today. Um, if you are interested in purchasing any of these or if you have any questions, just contact me at PiccadillyStampin.com. I have a link there to um, my email and a link to my store. So appreciate it very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>